to start with your name and your instrument. Maynard T. Chattis, and my instrument is trombone. Where did you grow up? In New Orleans, uh, uptown, uptown area. In fact, my address, Delachaise Street, is one block going uptown from Louisiana Avenue. And, well, Flynn Goodrich Hospital is 2425 Louisiana Avenue. And my address was 2425 Delachaise. What was the neighborhood like? The neighborhood was very nice, you know, when I was coming up. Uh, well, I'm from a family of 16. I had 11 sisters and four brothers. And my father, all of us were born in a house but one. My father built the house, so. <laughs> so in all, 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 of the 16 children, 15 of us was born in that house. And my, my oldest brother and my sister, I think Edith was the 12th child. She was the only one that was born in the hospital. The rest were born at home? Yes, so we all came up in that one house. My, my father built it. He was, at that time, he was a postman, which was a very good job in that time. And what did your mother do? My mother was a housewife. And they played music? And they were musicians? Well, she played piano, she played a little piano by ear. But you know, my father was, my father played violin. He played violin his whole life? Yes. Where did he learn, do you know? Well, uh, <clears throat> he told me that he had a teacher, you know, coming up at that time. Uh, he had a violin teacher. And at that time, they, they had, uh, when I was coming up, he had a little orchestra. And a musician would come by my house, or I can remember a few, the like Handis and the Bolios, they would come and practice, you know. And so they had, they had a little orchestra around eight of them. What other musicians in your family besides your parents? In my family, well, all 16 of us played an instrument. Every last one of us, you know, was exposed to music. Well, I have six children. I have uh, three girls and three boys. And I exposed all of them also to music. What was the first time that you realized that you were musical? that you had a gift in that way? The first time I started playing music, I was around, I started uh, playing violin. The first instrument I played was the violin, and I was around eight years old, around eight when he started me on the violin. And your parents, it was important to your parents that you all play? Yes, <laughs> So how did that work? It was very important that we played instruments, and I didn't want to play the violin, you know. I wanted, I wanted to play, a, in fact, I wanted to play trumpet. I was very small at that time, and uh, said I didn't have enough wind to play the trumpet, and so I played the violin. And my sister Shirley, uh, she was teaching at a music school, and she brought a trombone home, and she told me, uh, "I got this from one of my students," and she said, "I didn't, I didn't like the trombone, but I want to play in the band, so." That's, that's how I started on the trombone, and I learned that it was a beautiful instrument after I started with it. How old were you? I was 10 years old when I started on the trombone. And what was it about the trombone that you loved? Well, <clears throat> what I loved about it, well, when I started playing, it's very, the trombone is very close right to the human voice. And also to the string instruments also. Well, each instrument has its own peculiarity, but the trombone, like string instruments, the slide, you know, you don't have, you know, you, you, the slide, you must make get your position, get your notes with your ears, the same way with, with string instruments. You have positions, you have seven positions. Well, I know about the string instruments because I play seven positions on string, you have seven positions on trombone also. Was your father disappointed that you left violin? Was your father disappointed that you stopped playing violin? Not really. <laughs> Not really. But uh, later on, I learned to appreciate it. Then I started playing a little string bass, you know. So. And what was the first time that you played outside your house? You played to other people? Uh, well, we had an orchestra, and... We had a family orchestra, and I can remember performing at 
Dillon University had us there. They are, had our family, and we also played, played in you know different schools. Played at the, I remember playing at this school, and and our yes, at the university. What kind of songs were you playing at that time? Well, at that time we played classical music. <laughs> Yeah, yes, classical music. Mm -hmm. So you'd have these uh, family concerts at different schools, and it was mostly a classical yeah, repertoire? Yeah, maybe, maybe basically classical music. Any popular standards of the time, mostly classical? Well, I can remember playing Beethoven, Ina Klein, and not music. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, and you know, some of the sonatas and things like that. And in starting to get into junior high and high school, did you do marching bands? Yes, I played, I played in a band in, in junior high school. In fact, I started playing in elementary school. I started, I was well, I was around in the sixth grade at McDonald number six. And then I went to Green Junior High School and from Green to Coin High School. And from Coin, I, well, I went to Southern University, finished from Southern University. And I studied at at the uh, Capital uh, University in, in, in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a second. I want to hear about teachers you had. Um, over so, so from 10 when yes, you started on trombone, tell me what teachers you had. The teacher I had, uh, Solomon Spencer, who was the band director at our uh, Coin High School, and he's also with the band director at the elementary school. Very fine band director. And he was the one uh, that gave me my first, you know, lesson. And then after that, uh, <clears throat> I studied uh, with Mr. Craig up at Southern and uh, Mr. Davis. And I studied with uh, Mr. Harriman at Capitol Conservatory in Columbus, Ohio. What? Local New Orleans musicians, uh, did you look up to, especially John well, Local musicians. Uh, <clears throat> New Orleans being unique, you know, my music started here, and the brass bands, the first band that I heard in New Orleans was the brass band on the street. And uh, the musicians that, I, I can remember the Humphrey Brothers, the Humphrey brothers, well, they stayed, they stayed uh, around a mile from my house. But uh, they played in the, in the different marching bands and things like that. I started playing jazz with uh, Teddy Riley and and uh, I played with you know different different brass bands at that time when I was. That was when I was in college. I started playing, you know, started really into to the New Orleans music. But growing up in New Orleans, I said music is a language, and I was used to hearing the music, and just by hearing it, you know, it, it becomes a part of you. And I played with different bands. Uh, you know, all of that. I played with well, the traditional style, and then those I played with uh, <clears throat> the blues bands. I played with the rhythm and blues bands. I played with with uh, Sugar Boy Prophet. I played with Deacon John. I played with uh, oh, I guess a bunch of them. <laughs> uh, Sammy Risley, Tommy Risley. Uh, in the traditional bands, well, I played with uh, Teddy Riley. Well, I've been to play with Michael White, and I played with, uh, as I said, the Humphrey Brothers. Um, I was in a band with Mr. and Mrs. Kimball, the, the ones, and they were in the original band here, you know, in Preservation Hall. So. You were playing lots of different music at this time. Did you have a favorite repertoire? Uh, it's so broad, and I just said, you know, you have. You go to them in different styles and genre. I like it. I like it all. Um, but with New Orleans music, well, I put a lot of emphasis on New Orleans music because, you know, that's the music from here. And that's the thing that that's, that's what we try to keep 
and, and uh, <laughs> keep it going. And it's very unique. Can you describe the New Orleans sound? Mm -hmm. Can you describe New Orleans music, maybe to somebody who's never heard it? Describe New Orleans music? Uh, when we think of jazz, you know, we think of New Orleans being the focal point where jazz started. As I said, the first bands in New Orleans were the brass bands. And what they basically played was marches and marches and hymns. Marches and hymns. Uh, and when we think of the music, the music itself, we think of jazz, it's, it, it's the main component of jazz is improvisation. And improvisation simply meaning that we can take any melodic structure. When we first of all, we have elements that make up music. I don't care what sort of music it is, classical or jazz or whatever. We think of the melody, we think of harmony and rhythm. The melody, that's where the song gets its name. You know, if I say, Da 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 da. I ask you what the name of that song. Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's right. That's right. That's where you got that. That's right. Daddy Had a Little Lamb. So that's where the song gets its name. The melody, the main thing, and the harmonic structure, just that chordal structure that's supposed to melt. And rhythm is nothing but measure time. You know, rhythm is nothing but measure time. Now, we think of improvisation. Improvisation simply means I can take any melody. And then I improvise on it. I decorate it. And New Orleans, that's what jazz was about. It's about improvisation. It's about a feeling. And the, rhythm, the rhythms in New Orleans are use a lot of syncopated rhythms. Which syncopation simply means where I'm placing a lot of emphasis on, on the weak beat and the other beat other than downbeat. In music, we don't have... We only have one downbeat, you know, if you tap your foot. You know, if I tap my foot and tap my hand, that's the downbeat. But everything else is the upbeat. It's nothing, rhythm is nothing but measure time. And uh, <clears throat> making it simple, you know, I used to, in, in school, I used to always tell uh, my students, I used to teach a lot of my nursing students, I always tell them about the stetroscope. I say, well, you put that stetroscope on, on, on when you measure, put that stetroscope on the heart, what are you doing? You're measuring that beat up. I say that's right, and you're looking at everything in music is about time, about rhythm. Rhythm is nothing but time. And we take and divide. You know, if we take the second and we divide it, think of the pie concept. You know, that's where we get note values. Think of the whole pie as being what a whole note, and then we divide that pie in half, half notes, divide it for we get quarter notes, you know. And then that's what that's that's what we get ready. I say one, two, three, four, what one half, what two, one, two, quad be what one, two, one. And that's and that's in mathematics, all it is. <laughs> and so that's this is why I tell I tell all, all everyone to take music because you learn mathematics. You cannot learn to count music unless you understand fraction. <laughs> And science. And, and melody, and melody. Like I said, melody is the main theme. And all we do is we improvise around that melody. And you say you play jazz. A jazz musician is only different than a jazz musician and a classical musician. Is a jazz musician must be able to improvise. Simply meaning, I can take any song. I don't care if it's American Beautiful. I'll play it straight. And then what? Then I improvise. Improvise simply means think of a Christmas tree and decoration. Decorate, you start off with a bare tree, and then what? You come up with your theme. And, <clears throat> and that's, the, that's the beauty in it. As far as New Orleans music, each instrument, you know, we think of traditional jazz, we think of a six-piece band. Bands around preservation, all of, you know, they have six pieces in it. You know, they have a trumpet and trombone and a clarinet and a horn section. Then you have the rhythm section, you have the, like the piano. Bass and drums, and each instrument has a function. And, and, and the front line, the press of the horn section, the trumpet uses a carrot melody. The clarinet is carrying like a counter melody above, and the trombone is playing the counter melody below. And we have to do all that by, we have to do all that by, uh, for memory. I'm not just saying, yeah, you have some music that's written up, but 
And if, if you're jazz, you're playing true jazz, then what you're doing, you have to make it up or create it. How long were you in Ohio before you came back? I stayed in Ohio two years. I used to go up there during the summer. I used to go up there in the summer. It's the summer. I had a sister stayed up there. She was a doctor, and I used to go up there and stay with her. And during the summer, I used to go, go up there in the summer. Mm -hmm. And then when you came back, what kind of venues were you playing at with different groups? You say what kind of? What kind of venues were you playing at with different groups around town? When I came back to New Orleans? Mm -hmm. Well, like when I came back to New Orleans, I was playing with... Uh, with rhythm and blues band bass, I was playing with Sugar Boy. I started playing um, with, I don't remember, you really know you're all too young for that, but they had a club on, on Bourbon Street, the Mustache Club. Might have heard of it. Your father's mustache. In fact, uh, they, had, they had them all over. And I learned a lot from playing that music because the instrumentation, they used two banjos. They had two banjos, a tuba and a trombone. We had what's called a lead banjo, side banjo, the tuba and the trombone would, would, would had to carry the melody. So simply, <laughs> in the beginning, you know, uh, I had a little problem, but I had to learn yeah, all the melodies, so it really helped me because it helped me to learn melodies. And it didn't play one song at a time, we played medleys. Around what years was this that you were playing? That was back in that was back in the, in, 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 in the sixties, mm -hmm. late sixties. Mm -hmm. Early seventy, yeah, I got played there. What was that venue like? What kind of people would come to it? Oh, a bunch of college kids, old all had all all <laughs> two late and hellish long you know, the empty out of here. And uh oh he would have lines around that place, yeah. What was he the did a lot of sing alongs, you know. A lot of song, a lot of sing alongs. What was the first time you ever came to Preservation? Well, I played in Preservation. I played in Preservation all that was in the in in the seventies. In the seventies, yes, I started played I started playing in Preservation all around around nineteen seventy five. Where were you seeing like the Humphreys play? Where did I play at the Humphreys? Where would you see them play? Oh, I would see them playing in, in the brass bands, in, in 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 the bands on the street, in the marching band. And then our, when I started playing at Preservation Hall, then I was fortunate enough to play with them on Monday nights and also with, with the Kimballs. Tell us about the Humphrey brothers. What were they like? What was their playing uh, style like? Very gentlemen and, and musicians. And I learned a lot from them, you know, because they were actually the pioneers they came up during the time, you know, with Louis Armstrong and the rest of them. And so they knew the music and, and very, very, <laughs> I guess they very gentlemen and, and tried to, anything you wanted to ask or learn, they thought that, thought that they could help you with anything you, it's welcome, you know, to <clears throat> ask and they would <clears throat> give you all the information that they could. Do you um, work to keep the old repertoire alive? Do yes. You, what kind of songs? What kind of work do you do? Well, we know this is say we think of the repertoire, but there's a lot of, of New Orleans jazz tradition. We think a lot of spirituals, a lot of spirituals, hymns, and and uh, a lot of popular songs. We say we can take any song in jazz, but. Basically, we think of the old traditional stuff. We think of like marches and hymns and, and uh, spirituals and, and the traditional. And you're a singer as well. And you're a singer as well. <laughs> well, I can sing. Oh, I carry melody. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the, that's, that's the that's the voice. That's that's the instrument we all have. God gave all this. That's the best instrument of all: the human voice. Mm -hmm. And the instruments are nothing but an extension. This horn is nothing but the extension of the human voice. Do you approach playing differently than you approach singing? Yeah, my singing? approach is yeah. My approach is 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 to try to sing through the horn. That's my approach. I'm gonna play a hymn. You're probably you all are probably familiar with this hymn. In the sweet by and by. Ah, <laughs> ah, 
Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, let's try it over the rainbow. people study New Orleans music in genre, so they study rhythm and blues, or they study jazz, or they study blues, and I have problems with that. Yeah, well the thing is, when we think of jazz and what it is, you, you're getting across, it's hard, you know, it's really hard to really define, we go into all the different genres and, and you know, seeing, well, this is one stage, this is this. But they all like in, interweave into each other really truthfully. We think of the blues, you know, the blues, all, I don't care whether you're playing modern jazz, or we call modern jazz or traditional, the blues is what we call, it's, it's, it's a harmonic structure. It's a harmonic structure. And the blues is played in all genres, whether it's uh, traditional jazz, modern jazz, rhythm and blues, or uh, I'll play a blues for you. <laughs> Just you understand, you probably heard it. Uh, you know, we have different blues, 12 bar blues, whatever, but the like, blues on the list, uh, we play around the audience or. Mm-hmm. 
you start teaching? Oh boy, I got it myself. I, I, <laughs> I started teaching in 1968. Junior high? Yes. Mm -hmm. At what school? At our, that was at our Carver Junior High School. Mm -hmm. And you stayed there for how long? I stayed there two years. Then I went to Duke University. How did you get a job Start at Dillard? Dillard University. Uh, Dr. Hall. Dr. Hall was my, he was over the music department at Southern University when I was there. And when he left Southern, he went to Dillard, he asked me to come to, 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 uh, to Dillard. Best job I ever had. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Hall was a, uh, he was a composer. And, 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 and a choir director, very fine musician. In fact, the, the, music, uh, the music building in Jackson, over Jackson State, was named after him, Dr. Frederick Hall. And you've taught many, many New Orleans musicians over the course of... I, I've taught, yeah, quite a few. Who have you taught? Well, the ones around here, Freddie Alonzo. <laughs> I taught Freddie. Freddie was one of us, too. I taught Freddie. Uh, I'm just dealing with the ones right here. I taught Ricky. Ricky was went to Dillard. Uh, what other ones around? Dillard, Ricky or uh, um, Ronell Johnson. Ronell went to Dillard also. And his brother, Stephen. Stephen finished from Dillard. And what others? Big Sam, with Sam, Sam the, the, the trombone player, they have the best. I taught him at Anoka. I taught up in Noka for a while, and then I, I used to do some adjunct teaching at Xavier. And I was a visiting pr professor at the University of Northern Iowa. I used to go there and did that for three summers. I'd go there and teach your jazz school during the summer. You and I, <laughs> as in, in Cedar Falls. You've taught, um, yeah, 30 years of, of yeah, New yeah, Orleans musicians. Yeah, years. Yeah, many, yeah, many people. And yeah. your children. Uh, you also taught your children. And many, oh, yeah, my children, yes. And your children are all musicians. Mm -hmm. And what them. I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm working with some special kids. <laughs> I work, my, my daughter has a, has a facility where she, she uh, handles it she, uh, for special children. And I work with them two hours, I work with them two hours a day, five days. And that's it's really rewarding. It's, it's rewarding to see how music... Because music is very therapeutic, you know, music is therapeutic. And you really, seeing how you can, you know, Plato said over 2,000 years ago, he said, if he could control the music of a nation, he said he didn't care who made the laws. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense to, that's right, he, because you can control, you can control one emotion through music. And your son Mark plays at Preservation Hall now. Hmm? Your son Mark plays. Yeah, yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, Mark plays, yeah. What was the first time you saw Mark playing at Preservation Mark, Mark played, Mark played uh, at Preservation Hall, oh boy, I guess around. Mm, I guess around eight or nine years ago. See, he and Benji went to school together. Well, Benji, I think it was, uh, might have been a grade ahead of him, up at Noka. What would you um, say to somebody who wanted to learn more about New Orleans jazz? Music is a language, and languages you learn from environment. Language you learn from, so that's the same thing with this music. If you want to learn it, the music that's indigenous to New Orleans, you really, you know, you get in that environment and get around musicians that play it, and that's, that's the best way to learn it. You know, listening also, you know, a lot of records and, and recordings and CDs, listen, and you know, learn to get, get in that environment. And that's that's the best way to that's that's the best way to learn it. What you do, you know, you don't really want to sit there and uh, 
a lot of people tell me, what, what, what trombone player you want to sound like? I said, no, I don't want to sound like me. <laughs> and this is the thing about jazz, because jazz gives you that freedom to be yourself. I appreciate what other trombone players do, but I want to develop a style of my own. And that's what jazz will do for you. You know, I played a lot of classical music, and when you're playing in orchestras, even in, in <clears throat> even when you're playing in in, in uh, when you think of the development of jazz, you know, it started with traditional jazz, but then the music developed, and we got we we, we get into to swing, which was big bands, and all that music was written. You get into ragtime, ragtime music was written. We think of our uh, as a ragtime piece, it's, well, it's for piano. We think of ragtime, basically. We think of people like Scott Joplin and Fats Waller. And Fats Waller wrote a, I don't know, well, it's just for piano, a basic piano. And they will have, have some arrangements for band. And uh, I've, I, I haven't played this for anyone. In fact, I've never played it with a band. But it's called the, Jitter, the Jitterbug Waltz. And it goes like this. It's, a, it's really written for piano. Combination of a lovely waltz that played in syncopation, and you're doing the jitterbug waltz. The melody is sweet, and yet the rhythm has a boogie beat that make you want to do the jitterbug waltz. And when you waltz in this three-quarter time, you swing and sway. You find you're doing something new, the old-fashioned way. The rhythm of the dance is sure to bring romance, so why not take a chance and learn to dance the jitterbug waltz today? Boy, and he wrote that back, and it's, 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 it's modern as modern can be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another piano. Another piano. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, yeah. You've heard it on piano. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah beautiful. Uh -huh. But that's the, that's the thing with jazz. Like I said, in the development, I was saying about rage huh? and about swing, you know, we think of... of, of uh, Big bands, the Darcy Brothers, Duke Ellington, uh, bands like that. Uh, that music was written. But in playing in bands like that, what simply meaning then we have to, the musicians, if it's the reed section or if, the, if it's the bread section, then what we have to do, we have to compensate and try to match each other's sound. You get it? Playing in the symphony orchestra simply meaning that what we have to try to match. I can't. I can't play. I, I can't play the same way that I would play traditional jazz. So just improvise. You know, we think if I'm playing, if you're playing in an orchestra, then especially brass players, you have to play what we call like with a straight sound. You know, I don't care if I'm playing what just a straight sound. I don't, I don't care what song it is. You know. <laughs> I'm playing with a straight sound, so definitely if I'm playing with three other trombone players, then we can play. Then we can play and we try to have to match sound, you know. But when I'm playing along, then what? I won't want to play with a straight sound. Thank you. 
Why is it important to teach the kids? Oh, it's very important. It is, it's very important to teach kids. And that is, um, I guess, the greatest, my greatest joy is, is, is helping others. You know, that's, that's where my joy comes from. And there's no self. No person that didn't get some help along the way. <clears throat> I think of one song that sums it all up, and you're probably familiar with it. No man is an island. No man stands alone. <laughs> each man joy is joy to me, and each man grief is my own. We need one another, and so I do defend. Each man is my brother. Each man is my friend. Yes, and that's... That's, uh, that's what I try to live by his right to help, you know, because everyone, everyone is, needs some help along the way. And I, that's, that's, yeah, I, I really get a great joy out of teaching. Oh, uh, play, I'm going to play. <laughs> the name of this song, in fact, I, I recorded this thing. You might be familiar with it. it this is, I guess, sort of a classical thing. And it's entitled Jerusalem. Thank you. 